Okay, today we will learn last subtopic for LU5, 5.4 system of linear equation with three variables. At the end of this subtopic, you should be able to write a system of linear equations in the form of matrix A times X equal to B, solve AX equal to B using inverse matrix solve ax equal to b using gauss jordan elimination method and solve ax equal to b using kramer's rule system of linear equation in metric notation given that the set of equations equal to a11x plus a12y plus a13z equal to b1 okay and until b3 here so this one is called a system of linear equations in three variables x y and z if metric a equal to a11 to a33 so actually a11 here until a33 and x equal to x, y, z, okay, x, y, z here, and b equal to the constant, b1, b2, b3, where matrix a11 to a33, or matrix a, is called the coefficient matrix, and x, y, z, or x, is called the variable matrix and b1 to b3 or b is called the constant matrix then the above equations can be written as a times x equal to b example 22 rewrite the following equations in the matrix form ax equal to b okay so given that equation this one so find a find the coefficient matrix so coefficient of x here is 1 so 1 here coefficient of y is negative 2 so negative 2 here and coefficient of z is 1 for the first equation until last equation here negative x is actually equal to negative 1 the coefficient 3 2 so 3 2 okay and then x okay the variables is x y z okay x y z and then the constant b you take it from the right side 2 5 1 so therefore a times x equal to b so you get this one Solving system of linear equations, the equation ax equal to b can be solved finding the value of x, y, and z using first inverse matrix, second Gauss-Jordan elimination method, and the third one is Kramer's rule. So our objective is to find the unknown x, y, z by using these three methods. Okay, method 1. Inverse matrix. Okay, consider a system of linear equations with n variables whose matrix of coefficients A has an inverse A inverse. Okay, A times X equal to B. Okay, this one is the given system. So, uh, multiply by A inverse both sides. Okay, you will get this one. And then associative properties, okay. And then apply inverse property here, and then identity property here. So therefore, to find x using inverse matrix, the formula is equal to x equal to a inverse times b, where the a inverse can be obtained using adjoint or elementary row operations that you have learned previously. Example 23. 
solve the following system of linear equation using inverse matrix. Okay, so first step, you need to write uh, the linear equations in matrix notation A, X, B. Okay, so A equal to the coefficient. Okay, 1, negative 2, 1, 2, negative 3, 4, negative 1, 3, 2. So the coefficient for X, Y, Z for the system of linear equation. And then our X equal to the three variables here. So we have three variables X, Y and Z. And then B. B equal to matrix 2, 5, 1. Okay. The constant at the right side here. Okay. And then second step. Find the determinant. Okay. So I will uh, expanding along the first row. Okay. The determinant of A. So the determinant is equal to 1. Okay. And then the third step, okay, find the metric of cofactors, okay. So you find C11, C12 until C33 here, okay. Don't forget the plus minus sign alternate, so minus here, minus, minus, minus. Okay, and then you simplify, you will get metric of cofactors here. Uh, negative 18, negative 8. 3, 7, 3, negative 1, negative 5, negative 2, 1. And then, step number 4, find the adjoint A. Okay, so adjoint A is the transpose of metric of cofactors. Okay, you will get negative 18, 7, negative 5. Negative 8, 3, negative 2, 3, negative 1, 1. Okay, next step, find the a inverse by using adjoint matrix. So 1 over determinant A multiply adjoint A to find the A inverse. So our determinant is 1. So 1 over 1 times adjoint A. You will get this one. Okay, the last step, find the value of X, Y and Z. Okay, by using inverse matrix. So the formula is a inverse times B. Okay. So now our metric of A inverse is this one. A inverse. Okay. And then multiply with metric B. So our B is equal to 2, 5, 1. A inverse multiply B. So the first row of A inverse multiply with the only column of metric B, negative 18 times 2 plus 7 times 5 minus 5 times 1. Okay, and then we move to the second row of A inverse, negative 8 times 2 plus 3 times 5 minus 2 times 1. And then the last row of A inverse, row number 3, 3 times 2, minus 1 times 5, plus 1 times 1. Simplify, you will get negative 6, negative 3, 2. Okay, column matrix. So X equal to negative 6, Y equal to negative 3, Z equal to 2.